This is a channel for the unicorns. Go on ahead and ask yourself as you like my video if you are a unicorn, if you are unique, if you are cut from a different cloth, if you are slicker than the average, if you look a little different than the average, if you think, walk, talk a little more different than the average, than the status quo, than what is expected, you, you move a little bit different, this is for the unicorns. I say this because it is a difficult thing to be unique. Now, everybody wants to sing songs like, uh -huh, uh -huh, I'm different, uh -huh, I'm different. Like, no, you are a unicorn. If, you, if you've ever cried in your life because you're so different, because you're so unique, you're, you're home here. Now, some of you, you don't, you don't have that experience. You're welcome here. But I'm saying my, my tribe is that of the unicorn. You know loneliness. You know what it is. You know what it is to be solitary. You know what it is to be a lone wolf, a lone warrior. You, you know that life. You know what it is to break barriers and boundaries and chains and, and, and to, be for, to be treated as last place only to come into first place and rub it in somebody's face. Like, these are the unicorns. With that being said, unicorns, beloved, beloved unicorns. And so, of course, my, my channel was called Up a Unicorn, but there were people referring to me as the unicorn, X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And I wanted to ensure, because it's still Up a Unicorn, but I wanted to ensure that if somebody's going to refer to me, you refer to me as Uppity. You can call me by my government name if you know it, but if you don't, you are going to go on ahead and refer to me as Uppity. And I will make it very confusing for anybody. Oh, you know, yeah, that unicorn bee. Who, Eloho? I don't know. Who are you talking about? Hashtag say my name. Or, or, or it ain't about nothing. So I will keep my channel just as uppity until, um, until I feel moved to do differently. But just so you know, it, it's very nice to meet you. Or uh, it's very nice for you to be here with me. I'm up the unicorn. So I'm noticing my unicorn black women being dragged into the fray of women, of black women who are not unicorns. And um, I want to caution you against that because I see the bigger play here. When it comes to these anti-African-American women bashers, right? Maybe the majority of them are black males, but honey, they are not only exclusively black males all over social media. There are all kinds of ethnic groups, black and non-black, African, non-African, indigenous, non-indigenous that keep our African-American female names in their mouths. And they're obsessed and they can't stop talking about us. They feel somehow entitled to us, to our service, to our work, to our love, to our bodies, to our hair, to our business. And they get online every day and they have something to say about us. If you are spiritually and mentally fortified enough, don't fire back. Because they're going to turn this into, they're going to, the, African American women are targets, okay? We are targets. Collectively, individually, everywhere we go, every job you've ever had, you know you've been a target or have been targeted. You know it. However, white adjacent, white sounding Oreo like, like myself, how many times I've been called an Oreo to the point where my partner even got me a limited edition pulled off of the shelves Barbie doll that's called literally, it's a black doll called Oreo. However different, however many other languages you've learned, however your accent may or may not sound like you're African, like blah, 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 okay? All these different things. You are going to have to be the black women who don't fall into the nonsense because all these somebody Samuel supporters and all these, you know, anti-African, like they're going to try to make this look like a back and forth. They're going to try to make this look like a mutual fight. Well, they're talking about us too. When in reality, you know, like I know, like any sound person knows that it's African-American women who are being picked on and they're fighting and firing back. 
And people will cite Jenny Jones and Ricky Lake and be like, oh, you guys did it first on Oprah. Uh." And it's like these women still loved African-American men. They weren't bashing you. They, They were airing you out. But they weren't bashing you. Tell the truth. Go watch those shows again. I grew up watching those shows. I know. I watched Jenny and Jerry and Ricky and and whoever the hell else. Those women were up there crying, begging, pleading on their damn knees, singing songs, paying money to be with these men who didn't do right. And they were complaining from from the standpoint of a broken heart. Like, like you hurt me. I don't know what to do with you at this point. Those were women who were still loving on black men to the point where they were outward, very outward about their jealousy and and bitterness and hatred of, you know, these interracial relationships with these white women and black men. African-American women, lucky for all of us, have evolved past that for the most part. I mean, you might still have a few, you know, older Gen X, older, you know, silent Gen, boomer, I don't know who maybe feel that way excuse me, younger silent gen. I don't think anybody older from silent generation is alive. But um, the point is, leave the insults to the people who are really good at it and you just don't join in, right? So let's say somebody like, um, and I'm trying to go with the flow of not mentioning other content creators on my channel, but somebody like Lexus Exodus is superb, at dealing insults. She is incredibly creative. There are so many people out here with, I I wish that woman with her beautiful voice would trademark some of these words. I mean, I mean, just all kind of like copy written. So don't copy me like, like, like just good stuff. When people have that knack for it, leave it to them. So that way it's a small group of women who are doing the insulting back because it it, it is cathartic, okay? When you get called a BT 2000, 1000, 3000 or a hair-headed hooligan or a German shepherd or whatever, it's nice to have somebody talk about a dusty foot Tyrone or or a derelict Daquan, you know? It's, it's, It's cathartic to see it happen back. But if we do that in droves, if we don't just leave that to the experts, then it's going to look like this mutual thing when in reality, we know that Lex X is just defending us don't we? We know that she didn't start out this way. We know that the child that she has is is black because she didn't start out this way. She became a warrior, right? She, She became this thing. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is let's keep those numbers small because some of us are not as, as good at it. Like, like I'm one of those people, I'm not as good as making up a, you know, a phrase about some beta male sugar booty cone or what it like, like that's not my lane, right? If I'm going to hurt your feelings, chances are I'm going to hurt your feelings with something that is very true. That is very, very true that I didn't reach out of the sky, you know, like, no, my creativity is like, okay, lyricism, singing, dancing, rapping, writing, like it, it, it's in a different lane. It's it's not often in the lane of insults. I, if I have to insult you, if I must insult you, it will be because something happened between us, and you've given me a a truth, <laughs> an objective truth to hurl at your soul. But as far as like the the really creative and colorful generalizations. I would like to see black women leave that to the experts because you just end up sounding corny anyway. And you end up making this war thing look like it's mutual when really it's not. Black women are being picked on. We are being picked on and picked at and picked apart. And I see so many of us out of hurt and out of pain jumping in to do the same thing. And the only thing we can come up with is nacre. So we nacre everybody to death. Niggity, niggity, nacre. You know, like like all over the place. And we say it to people who really don't deserve to even have to hear that. And it's like, all right, just just leave it to the person who gets the boom, boom. You know, that little uh, drum drum cymbal sound when somebody makes a funny joke. Boom, boom. Like uh, Amanda Sales used to say that a lot. Leave that to, to them. 
let them wear that flag, support them, cash up them, PayPal them, whatever it is, but keep them in the minority so that people can see what is really happening because the world is looking at African-Americans right now. And they've been doing it for a long time. Since black and white TV, they've been looking at African-Americans. And they're watching how the women are being treated. And, and pe- men of different races are popping up all over the world saying things like, I couldn't believe how easy it was for me to get with an African-American woman because they seem so high above me. They seem so successful and so strong and so beautiful and so this and this. But all I had to do was be nice to her. These men are crap. Now, of course, you know, if you have any kind of regard for being black, you don't necessarily, you don't want people to go around calling them in crap. But at the same time, if the international community starts to sit on the head of these abusive African-American men, then you can rest in your femininity. People will see it and call it out. And I'm noticing a trend of that all across social media where, and shout out to the African-American young boys, you know, these Gen Z guys who were just like, ugh. They're every bit of, you know, cishet African-American male, and they just are are disgusted by all the anti-African-American female rhetoric that is out there. It's a moneymaker. It's, it's been a money grab since YouTube has been YouTube. And they're not here for it. They're not giving into it. And I would hate to discourage those men by just niggity, niggity, niggering everybody because I'm hurt. I would hate to discourage those boys who have my face and my hair and my skin color from defending me because that was what we were asking for such a long time ago. And I hear you when, when some of the people in my comment section, I said something about this recently in a, in, a, in a post. And they were like, yeah, you know, too little, too late. And I hear that. But I still would rather that be added to the conversation than for somebody to dare say that it's an equal it's an equal battle on equal footing because it's not. It's not an equal battle on equal footing. We already outnumber these men by over 2 million. So here's what I propose. Because it's like, okay, uppity, well, you want us to just sit here and take it? You want us to be like, because there are people on social media, they're just like, oh, can't you just ignore those people? And I just posted a video like, it's really hard to ignore these people. when like, like, like It feels like there's a billion of them who can't wait to make a punchline or a punching bag out of an African-American woman. All over the place, right? Transmute it. Right? If you know anything about hermetics, alchemy, transmute it. I'm not saying don't respond. I'm just saying don't respond in kind. Set the trend. So when somebody is talking about, oh, you know, yeah, you know, these dark skins, you know, they could take a punch to the face better than a light skin. You know, these dark skin bees, they be having bad credit. You turn around and you say, you know, I am healthy. I am wealthy. I'm the I, I'm the shit. I am that bitch. I am blah, 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 blah. And I'm not going to take your shit. Right. Like uh, this little girl who's going to be out. Excuse me. I'm loving hip hop. She's the writer of that song. And it's a dark skinned black girl. Right. So you turn that rage and all that energy that you get when these people are insulting you into a flipping Nicki Minaj song. Or you play all their insults and then make a video and say, hey, Alexa, play Obsessed by Mariah Carey and start lip syncing. Why are you so obsessed with me? But as far as the insults where you start to go back at them, I'm telling you, it's a bad look. And people want to talk this and that about, oh, well, it's a bad look for who and who cares about identity politics and tone policing and this and this and this. It matters. And I'm telling you, men will come out of the blue to fight these men who are more equipped to fight these men. We mock these men all the time for always being in a fight with women. Every time, every time we look up, you're arguing with a woman and you have nothing to say to a man. Well, if those women would stop talking. For just a moment. They would have nothing to face but other men. 
all the men who are making the content that I'm watching, you know, talking uh, about, you know, trying to hold African American men accountable, however, spot on or spot off they are, right? Some of the things they say, I believe some of the things I think they're, they're, you know, you know, pandering to the vagina, you know, just just looking for likes and, and clout. But thing is, if you step out, they will step in. The people who care about us. I've seen white women come out of the woodworks. I've seen Asian women come out of the woodworks on behalf of African American women because they are fed up. Because our, con- our, our culture has been centralized. Black women, people see you suffering. And I just want you to know that. Every commercial with a woman proposing to a man is a black woman on her knees. They see that these men don't want you for no reason. Other than the fact that you're black. Because the women that they end up with, good God, some of these Asian women and white women be more ghetto than you could ever be. Be more hood, be more... I mean, one time I was in college and I heard a white woman scream third ward and it sent chills up and down my, my, like I had goosebumps because I was like, this, this white girl is all the way girl. I mean, she sound like government cheese. She sound like white sugar and Kool-Aid. She sound like fried bologna sandwich. Kid you not. And, and, and what do you think her man was? Do you, do you think he was white? Think it was some, 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 some white Mike, some hood white guy? No. Derek Daquan, right? Right? The one you were too ghetto for, but she was just right for? If you get quiet, the nonsense gets louder and clearer. It's just like when two people are talking at the same time and you can't really tell who's saying what. Stop talking. And now I'm not saying stop dealing with it because I, I really do believe some of some of this dealing with it coming on YouTube and these chat rooms full of 80, 200, 300 people like that. That is very cathartic. I'm saying leave those high insults to the professionals. Lex X is one of the, she, she's one of the best. But as for you, every time you get insulted, flaunt your beautiful skin. Upload a video where, you know, you're wearing something right and tight, you know, up, flaunt, flaunt your Yves Saint Laurent, even though I'm not like, I, I'm really not given to these, like, uh, it, it grinds my gear when I see black people wearing Gucci or these different uh, things where I'm just like, these people are obvious, obviously racist, obviously anti-black. They have made it very clear in their advertising and their clothes and the way that they police black bodies and their businesses. However... It's a better way to it's a better way to be passive aggressive, right? Because of course passive aggression can be very annoying. But it's just like, you know, the woman at your job who instead of raising her voice, and Omarosa is so good at this, where she can just set your soul on fire with the way she can remain feminine, calm and collected, and passive aggressive. Like all these men who are like, yeah, y'all don't have no real hair and we don't want all them wigs. Upload a video of yourself flipping your hair. Like, 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 like you're some, you know, blonde, whatever. Flip it. Flip your natural hair in the wind. What's the makeup? Pose. One of the things that divested femininity does that I love I don't know if I've ever heard the woman talk, speak. I don't know if I've ever seen her face. But all I see is her uploading the couples that everybody told us were impossible. Where y'all gonna go? Don't nobody want y'all but us. She's like, oh, <laughs> divested interracial couple uh, upload number 2,222,000, like, like whatever, you know? Like, honey, these are everywhere. And all we have to do is say, hey, we're open to it. But as far as contributing back to that back and forth argumentation, going and getting yourself clowned and hurt, your heart broken, your feelings hurt, your, 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 your mind brainwashed, instead of all of that, it's like, oh, mm, I need to fill my French tips. 
oh my god i got this like really amazing pedicure like oh i just finished my third book of the month right there are so many different like tiktok sounds like oh my god am i better than everybody like keep reinforcing that i am the shit i am that bitch attitude every time so, like 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 drown the internet with that shit break the internet with that shit but as far as like going back and forth with them and 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 don't do it that guy is always he always got smoke for women but he don't is because there's a woman willing to engage him don't let him look stupid and talk to himself and if he's talking about you level up and show yourself or or don't show yourself right but just if you are a content creator like I'm a content creator who opens up their camera, right? When people were going around calling me ugly and saying that I only I'm only pretty because I use filters and and my body is fake and I've got breast implants and I uh diddy bop and crop and 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 photoshop my body, I just started uploading videos which which are all taken down now because I think I beat the hell out of a dead horse. I just uploaded me laying in bed me waving at the camera, me washing my hair. So when I say small waist and waist length hair, I meant it. And that's me flipping my middle finger to the people who are talking crap about me. When I say 38 size G bra, that's me flipping my, that's me flipping the bird to these people like oh she's photoshopping her body she blah 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 and making a big deal out of the way that god blessed me made me out of what i got from my mama my black african american my dark skinned mama i'm going to i'm going to flex this shit so hard every time every time Somebody pulls that bullshit on me. I'm going to climb to the highest mountain just to shit on them. And I'm going to take laxatives on my way up. Because I'm that nasty. It's, it's that bad. But what I'm not going to do is talk about, you know, your mother. I'm not going to cuss you out. I'm not going to. I am going to allow myself to have the appearance of a lady. I am going to allow myself to have the appearance of somebody who should be protected because in reality, I should be. That's the reality with, with African American. Like, you deserve to be protected. You're not. But, but in reality, you should be. You deserve to be. So yeah, I'll toss my hair. I'll toss my natural hair or my weave. I will open up my camera and talk like I don't know how to move from my hand from my chest because there's $10,000 on my hand. Now, I'm not a ring collector. I appreciate the ring that I have, but I'm not a ring collector. I'm not a luxury brand. I've never been that kind of person. Anybody who knows me knows that I am bohemian all day and all night. I am barefoot, dog kissing, granola chewing, tree hugging. They call me an Oreo for a reason, okay? But that is the type of passive aggression (laughs) that I think is beneficial in this type of situation. Or somebody bullies you, right, on account of your race. And you're like, oh, Brad, help. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see what that does? They're out here trying to find and kill a YouTuber because she said, oh, Brad, help. Oh, Brad, say what you saw. Because you didn't take the time to respect African-American woman enough the way that he did. So now, in retaliation, I'm going I'm to be a whole damsel in distress the way I deserve to be as the weaker vessel, as a person who, if we were to get into a physical fight with any of these men, we would lose. We would lose. And that's coming from a woman. It, it ain't a whole lot of women I've met in my life who can knock me down. I mean, you, you have to be something around Layla Ali, Ronda Rousey, a, a Polynesian. It's not going to work otherwise. 
But when they say women have stronger bodies, we're obviously not physically stronger than men, but we do have a higher, like a, like a greater threshold of pain. And that's why we can give birth, right? A man would literally die, even if he had, you know, the, the, the openings. If he could push that baby through his rear end, he would die because he doesn't have what it takes to suffer for that many hours, that much pain, that much pressure, a, you know, a, a constant a constant amount of like like it would kill them people literally die from pain anyhow um this is my message to the unicorns again because like in reality most of us are sheep most of us are sheep and most of us created these men who we're complaining about now And while I wouldn't say most of us are as trifling, a lot of us are as trifling. And you don't need to look further than YouTube. So I'm calling on the unicorns to throw a wrench in the system. I love what the Black Women in Luxury movement is doing. Because they're throwing, they're they're, without, it's unintentional. It's it's an unintentional, unintentional microaggression that is in reality a macroaggression, aggression. When they sit there with these full poles, these six foot deep poles on their balconies and they show us their facials and they show us what their chefs prepared and they open these envelopes full of money from their different boyfriends and trust fund babies and it's like, ha, without cussing anybody out, without breaking a stiletto, without like, like none of that, it's just boom. There you have it. Oh, I'm worth what? I'm, I'm, I'm worth less? What? Really? Mm. Well, that ain't what he thinks. And I'm with a whoop de whoop 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 I'm with a, a this and a this and a that. I'm with a boule blah, blah, blah. I'm with a, you know, one percent, top one percent of all African-American male whoop de whoop whoop Like, that's the smack in the face. That's the open hand smack in the mouth. without getting into a shouting match, without getting into a back and forth, without a whole bunch of video responses. But you have to really be there and you have to really believe that. And lucky for us, most of us are. But sometimes you have to make it very clear to people who the victim is. I'm reminded of the whole Karen Victoria Secret thing where, you know, the 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 black woman was clearly <laughs> clearly a victim. Clearly a victim. But even the the tone of her voice, because she was able to get so loud, you know, people were talking to her like like she had a problem. And sometimes it's like, you know, you, you gotta use your little lady voice. We're we're so used to manning up, man down. <laughs> Stand down, man down. It's okay. Somebody makes a weird weird comment, toss your hair. And don't stop. Remember in the music video, uh, Irreplaceable, when Beyonce kept tossing her hair at dude? That was better than a middle finger. Because what a lot of people... I, I don't know why a lot of people don't know this, but that's Beyonce's hair. Beyonce wears a lot of wigs, a lot of lace fronts, a lot of this and a lot of that. But honey, her her real hair is waist length. And every now and then when she's not somewhere dancing up a storm, if she's just doing a L'Oreal commercial or she's just doing a, you know, whatever, like the last award she accepted, that was her hair. And it's like, Negro, do you see me? Do you see me? You, you want to act like this and this? Don't you ever for a second get to thinking you're irreplaceable. I can have another you in a minute. Matter of fact, he'll be here in a minute. Are, are, are you, who, who are you talking to right now? And you can do all of that. You can do all of that chest beating like Nicki Minaj is King Kong. Yes, Miss King Kong, blah, 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 right? You can do all of that with a hair toss. You can do all that with, with a photo from, from, from a spa. You can do all of that showing off your garden. You can do all of that showing off where you work, how much you make, what you drive, how you live, how you raise your children. 
showing what, what your connections are, your network, your net worth, what you are associated with. You can kiss my net worth, Negro. You can kiss my insert, you know, dot, 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 parentheses, blank, fill in the blank. But it can't be this ghettoized, trash ass, backwoods, back alley, crackhead, felonious, back and forth. You can't talk like a cellmate to a cellmate. Or you just look like cellmates. Don't be the mate. Really walk on the fact that you are unequally yoked with these people who are anti-African-American female. Don't let them be, don't set your words up in a way to make people think, oh, well, that's why they don't like those women. That's why, because there are too many people who are obsessed with African-American women who can't stop black fishing, who can't wait to find a way or a reason to try to come and be the replacements. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie, The Replacements, a football movie, comedy, whatever. Who can't wait to be the replacements. And our attitude should be, by all means, welcome. We can do better because we are better. Some of these people are begging you to lower yourself to the level of, like, I remember I got into it. I I let this guy say all kind of crazy stuff about me for the longest. And finally, like, I responded. And that's why I was able to respond in such a powerful way, right? When I was just coming from the heart about (laughs) this guy who had the nerve to tell people that I was trying to throw, you know, my private parts at him or whatever. I'm just like, dude, you you were seduced like a number of other men were just just another name another number another like like no this this never happened this is all in your freaking head and this is why I did it I did this to protect myself I did this to elevate myself I did this to look out for myself now like I was okay with people thinking I had a crush on you but when you started telling people that I was actually trying to give you the, the innermost sacred part of myself I had to shut you down in a major way then and only then. Other than that, all these general, every time you see a TikTok or, or you know who Samuel's video upload, whatever, you can respond to that in a different way. There are women, what is that woman's name? It's like ge- geisha something, geisha something, something, and numbers or something. I have uh, uploaded a TikTok of her going off on you know who Samuel's. Oh, she's excellent. With, with the verbiage, with, with, with the African-American wit, with the A-A-V-E, my God. Stellar performance, like award-winning drag. <laughs> we leave it to people like her. And let the rest of us look like deer, uh, deers in headlights who don't know what's going on. Just, just some pretty-ass, doughy-eyed creature. That is highly desirable. That's what I got for you today. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. My, um, I reapplied for monetization and have been remonetized. And I'm going to try very hard to post um, more regularly. I'll be honest. Um, during the time when my channel was not monetized, I was able to get some of my websites monetized, right? I was able to get some other work done behind the scenes that is not related to YouTube and that has been very fruitful to me and beneficial for me. And basically, it kind of knocked me out of my YouTube groove because now I'm like, okay, trying to take care of a website, trying to make sure like I'm going behind the scenes and uploading and doing all the things that I need to do in order for the website to be up to date and to have the articles that it needs and I'm learning how to perform SEO on each of my websites, and it's a painstaking process, but a labor of love nonetheless. So um, it has had me busy, but especially for those of you who are paying to be a part of my community, I just, I I really and truly believe that I I owe you so much more. So I would ask you, uh, (laughs) don't cancel your membership just yet. Just give me some time, okay? I am up at Unicorn, and um, I love that you are too. 
I mean, we're, we're a type. It's, a unicorn isn't a person. It's, it's, it's a type. And it's, it's a namaste type of thing. Like, you know, the uppity unicorn in me bows, recognizes, praises, thanks, has gratitude towards the uppity unicorn in you. Dare to be above the fray. It's okay. All right, then. I'm uppity and I'm out.